Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Galoob Micro Machines catalog from 1990. As you can see, it folds out and it's double sided. So I'm going to be taking a photograph of every single page and then um, we can look at them a little bit more closely in detail because they show all the different cars that were available as well as various play sets that were available from 1990. It's a very good reference for someone that's looking for classic Micro Machines today. The cover shows Micro Machines lined up on a globe. You can see the curvature, which is pretty awesome. The Micro Machine vehicle assortment for 1990 was vast and varied with many different types of vehicles. The Turbo Wheels miniature little monster trucks were really fun. I have the orange and yellow Mustang in set 41. Military vehicles were a popular staple and this number 57 tractor pole just looks absolutely crazy. The scale of it is huge. The semi-truck collection is really awesome. I particularly like the one with the Indy car on it and the one with the rocket and the boat. The deluxe set of cars in the upper left hand corner have opening doors and hoods and I think they're a little bit better made than the regular cars. The Private Eyes series from Micro Machines were very special. You could look through the black part and see a scene. Each car had a different scene. One of mine has a dog in the back of a van. The super lights were lots of fun. I had the limousine and the bus and collection number eight with the tucker and the nomad. Snapbacks were pullback micro machines. I have the bug and the Porsche from collection number two. Insiders were another innovation from micro machine that featured a mini car inside of the micro machine. I had the C2 Corvette. These pages are in no particular order. Micro Machines slot cars, which is very awesome. I find it really hard to believe that they could make slot cars that small. It's unbelievable. I owned this Metro City playset back in the day. I still have all the pieces that go on top of the board, but sadly the board itself is long gone. Next up is a series of trains. They were always fun to play with on that plastic track. There was also a few sets that included sound with the train playset. The off-road country playset was on my wish list as a kid. I just think that mountain looks really cool. I own the light-up gas station. The garage was really fun. I have the car wax and the motor oil. They are some of the most iconic Micro Machine playsets. The secret auto supplies were some of my favorite Micro Machines. The gas can is one of my favorite playsets they ever made. The speed shop customizing set looks intriguing. You can put monster truck wheels on your micro machine and then convert it back to a road car afterwards. I remember owning the Service City. It was really fun with that ramp and it has an elevator to lift the cars to the top. Sadly, I lost this playset. I review all six of the micro machine secret auto supplies on my other channel, Stick Shift Studios. See the link below. I always enjoyed playing with my insiders micro machines and this pocket garage is a really ingenious idea for portable storage and these credit card playsets are such an excellent idea. The stunt jump playset reminds me of something that Hot Wheels would have created and I think having a micro machine go down a loop that big would be quite a sight. Thank you for watching my review of the 1990 micro machines fold-out catalog that features the vehicles that were available for sale as well as the playsets. You may also like to watch my Micro Machines Battle Tank review and other toy reviews. Have a great day!